Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing quartiles. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Quartile is another measure of relative position. If percentile previously, we have defined it as the measure of position that divides the entire data set into 100 equal parts, quartile just divides the data set into four equal parts, from the first up to the third quartile. By property, we can say that the 25th percentile is equal to the first quartile. We can also say that the median is equal to the 50th percentile in the second quartile. And we can also say that 75th percentile is equal to the third quartile. So since we are dealing with measures of position, these values are just the same. Oh, by the way, you may notice that we have here median. Median, as we have previously defined in our video, it is a measure of central tendency. However, aside from the fact that it is a measure of central tendency, it can also be interpreted as a measure of position. And it coincides with the 50th percentile and the second quartile. In order for us to identify the different quartiles from the first up to the third quartile, we will first rank the data set in ascending order, meaning we will assign uh, ordinal numbers from 1 as the lowest onwards. Afterwards, after ranking, we will use this formula. K here represents the kth quartile which you are looking for. Say, for example, when you are dealing with the first quartile, therefore you replace K with 1. If we're dealing with second quartile, you replace it by 2. And for the third quartile, you replace it by 3. And we have here n as the number of data in the set. So let's apply this formula to this example. So say, for instance, we have these weights in ounces of 11 avocados in a random sample. Then we have to find the first, second, and the third quartile. You may pause this video and on your own rank or arrange this data set in ascending order. Don't forget to assign the ranks per weight from the smallest being the first in the rank up to the 11th, which is the heaviest among these avocados. After 10 seconds, you will reveal the answers. So these are the correct ranks from the first up to the 11th weight of avocados. We will use this as we are computing for the quartiles. So first, we have the first quartile. Again, if you may notice, I replaced K here with the subscript of the quartile that we are looking for. And this is always the ordinal term, meaning the number that we will be computing refers to the rank. To better understand, let's do it. We have here 11 avocados, so we have 1 times 11 plus 1 over 4. So we have here 1 times 12 over 4. 1 times 12 is 12 over 4. 12 over 4 is 3, meaning we will look at the third value. So the third in the rank is this one, meaning this is the first quartile. Q sub 1 is equal to 10.2 ounces. So that is for the first quartile. Next, we go to the second quartile. For this one, I challenge you, instead of using this formula, why not use the formula for median? Recall from our previous video, median has its own formula. And median is also a measure of position. Do it on your own. And then after 10 seconds, we will resume this video to see if your answer is correct, even if you use the formula for median. Okay, so we have here 2 and here is 11 plus 1 over 4 pH. So we have here 11 plus 1 is 12 over 4. 
2 times 12 is 24. 24 divided by 4, we have 6. So I hope you got the same answer. The median or the second quartile is the 6 in rank, meaning this data. We have Q sub 2 as 12.4 ounces. Next, we solve for the third quartile. Again, I suggest you to do it on your own for a while, and then afterwards, we will reveal the answer. So still, we have here N as 11 over 4. So we have here 11 plus 1, we have 12. 4. 3 times 12, we have 36 over 4. 36 divided by 4, we have 9. Meaning the ninth data, or this one, is our third quartile. We have 13.1 ounces. So for instance, you arrive with a certain value here that has a decimal number. So, suppose we arrived instead of 9, we arrived with uh, 8.5. Just a random example. So, 8.5 here, it means that you are getting the mean of the 8th and the 9th data set. So, we will always do this if we arrive with a number that has 0.5 on it. We will not round this off and make it 9. Instead, this is wrong. You will arrive with the wrong value. So again, if you encountered a decimal number as an answer for quartiles, you will always get the mean of the two involved positions. So let's just write the general conclusion for this. We have the following values for Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3. So that's it for quartiles. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.